Welcome everyone, welcome one and all. Today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4 in the name of the Tsar. I haven't played this mod in years, I don't think. So I just thought I'd play, just do a playthrough. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Playing Hearts of Iron 4. What a surprise. So if you do want to see more, comment, like, and subscribe. Please. Everyone says hi Matt, but no one says hi Alex. What kind of BS is that? <laughs> Uh, so, in the name of the Tsar is the situation in which, what if Russia won the First World War? Whoa, he looks different. Oh, that Prussian dude looks creepy as. Who's that? Charles Curtis. What the? Russia has shown itself to be a major power via the Great War. They were able to defeat a coalition of Austro-Hungarian and German forces in the Brusilov Offensive, and a separate peace was signed between the Habsburgs and the Tsar, thus leaving German Empire totally isolated in the Great War, and Germany in, uh, fearing the complete and utter destruction of his empire sued for peace in 1917. And this is the state of the world afterwards. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a lot of German. German places. You've got Saxony over there, you got the weird Prussia dude, you got that dude, you got that the commies, you got the Confederation of the Rhine led by Comrade, and then you got this old chonky boy. You have the UK, everything else looks kind of, oh, I guess Turkey all got broken up too. Oh yeah, oh that's right, Russia uh, starts off with the control of Constantinople. Mm. And then Austria's got its own thing going on. Give the German communists another try. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Fra oh, what about even Austria? The defeat of the Austro-Hungarian Empire meant the end of the plural national empire. Thanks to the Russian Tsar, however, the House of Habsburg-Lorraine was preserved. New states such as Bohemia and Hungary have emerged, but their future is uncertain. The Austrian nation currently sits at a crossroads. However, they reunify their empire, or they reunify Germany themselves. Woohoo! Plus he's a happy Engelbert. And who doesn't love Engelbert? Uh, so we've got Otto, the nationality question. Uh-oh, uh, declining economy. <sighs> I think we'll do that. Why not? Playing as Austria is always a good fun. A good fun, a good time. So let's just give it a go with Engelbert and uh, we'll follow the uh, In the Name of the Star timeline. Bam! We've actually got 14 divisions and then they're, they're all pretty much equipped. Wow. He's a two attack, four defense, planning speed. I, I, do you know, uh, I've never actually used these buttons. So the dude has an offensive doctrine and doesn't lose a lot of org when he's moving. And he gets an extra 10% to attack. So let's have the field marshal there. We've got a lot of generals and they're all pretty good. I'd say the mountaineer might be quite helpful. Look, mum and dad. I, I'm, I'm looking at stats. I'm a meta gamer now. There we go. Let's get Frederick in. Then let's take a little look at the... Hello? Oh, you can just add 27 bits of steel. Yes, please. In the words of Zoomers, that's based. And if you want to hear me say more based things, subscribe. You can tell I've had a good night's sleep, right? Cringe. You're cringe. Get out of here. How, have you not have you not watched me before? Um, I think it's pretty uh, pretty apparent that I am full of cringe. That's how I make my living. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, we want to get rid of him and them. Hold on. Who are the Illyria's a puppet of Serbia? Fat. Oh wow. Okay. We need to we need to start thinking about getting our whole uh, empire back, don't we? Ah, the Austrian situation. Here we go. In 1917, Austria-Hungary was single-handedly defeated and dismantled by the Russian Empire. Several of its old lands became subject to Russian influence and lost. Oh, this empire. Austria became a conflict of interest between the aristocratic <laughs> aristocratic Russians and the democratic Entente. In the end, a compromise was reached. Austria would become a constitutional republic similar to Britain. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. The economy's been declining. Yep. Okay. Well, long live Austria. Then, uh, ooh, do I want some more factories? You're goddamn right I do. Industry is an important part of development for any country. We need to modernise our empire as quickly as possible. What empire? We're literally just little Austria. Ah, we have elections. During the last years, the economy of Austria has been heavily declining. We've had high unemployment. Uh-oh. Several workers vote for the SPO now, feeling betrayed. So the SPO will stop the unemployment crisis. No, we need to stay realistic. We're not going commie. Not today. Several members of the th anti-democratic and favors the return of the old monarchy. Yes, this favors, this suspicion is created by the close relationship. Is that the one I wanted? So all of those events kind of meant nothing. I can still go with the SPO. Which one's the SPO? The CS are conservatives. The CS. 
let's establish the royal cult. The house of Habsburg Lothringen is one of the most beloved royal houses throughout Europe. We have ruled over almost every country in Europe and have every country that every country is directly. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. Who doesn't love a cult? Join the Rambler cult. Oh, I'm being guaranteed by Prussia. Oh, that's very cool. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Hans. So far, the mod um, feels very calm. It doesn't feel very buggy at all, which is quite nice. Ah. Oh, I forgot about that, dickhead. I don't know what would be worse. <laughs> How the heck is Goering in charge of a free Bavaria? Paternal autocrats. Jeez Louise. What? The Portuguese monarchy's been restored. Hallelujah. Hey, it's Manuel. <laughs> the Prussian dictator dies. <gasps> it's Mackinson. I guess I'll have to do the, the beacon of Central Europe. How do I do these? As completed focus war preparations. Oh, oh. I guess I'm creating a Pax Europa then. I'll be the protector of the Balkans. Sure. I didn't want to go down that way. Uh, oh well. Sure. I'll do something I'm not used to doing then. I'll protect people from themselves. I'm still going to be the bully of Europe. The beacon of Central Europe. Let's replace that with the bully of Central Europe. You join me or you die. How about that? Look at what you're making me do to you. Europe. This might still be fun. We might still have fun. He says, well, not convinced. Uh, but let's actually change my infantry division so we at least have some artillery for that soft attack, baby. Can I add one here? I can! Wow. I'll seek a European confederation. God, I'm starting the EU. I'm starting the European Union in 1937. Oh. Well, Goering's not in charge. <laughs> Mackinson is. He just got gobbled. Get the pun. Army offense exp. Yes, division attack. That's what we want. Go on the offensive. I am protector of the Balkans. When we occupied Bosnia from the Ottomans in the 19th century, we were celebrated as heroes by the Christian and Orthodoxes. As such, we are the rightful protector of the Balkans from all threats. Yes. Good. Let me rise. Serbia begins unification. Toy. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, uh, get, no, no. You don't need to do that. No, that's not necessary. Okay, we're protector of Europe now. So I, if I go to the east, and then I give them the ultimatum, but then what happens to Hungary? Anyway, I guess I'll just raid the parliamentary organization. <laughs> yes, let's get our let's get our country first sorted out before I go on the expansion. <sighs> it's like I have to play sensibly or something. Anyway, I'm the I've started I've started the EU, even though it's just me. Pretty poggers. Uh, Russia continues to stay by its satellite states. Oh, there's not that many. Who's it led by now? Ooh, Mikhail, 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 Mikhail. German unification. Oh, Alex didn't like that. No. <laughs> I will refuse the Angelus. I think we're all right. Oh, they have tanks. Okay, let's establish farming subsidies. Not enough people within Austria are working to produce food for our nation, and as such, we have to import some. <laughs> that is a disgrace. We import too much cheese. I probably have to stop around. Oh no, I want f I want I want all 24 divisions. A nice 24 stack. Elections in the German Empire. Uh oh. The German M. Oh, they they wish the Rekaiser re to return to the Reichstag. Okay. And Japan's going ham, as we expect. The freer the market, the freer the people. So we remove declining economy. Very nice. Good. Whoa. It's Papen. Return of the King. Uh Alfonso. Cool. The monarchies are coming back in this one, aren't they? Oh. Oh, dearie me. Well, uh, the French state might be on the way out. Can the mountaineers also have artillery? You're goddamn right. Uh. What? The. Uh, Earl versus Henry. Okay. I. I would Montana and the Dakotas and Wisconsin really go communist? What's the capital? Cleveland? Hmm. I don't think Germany would go after me. Oh, it's a shame we can't get those two there. Then we'd have a nice little defensive line. Not that they're really struggling too much, I don't think. Looks like I can't do the Serbian membership because I haven't gone either liberal or conservative. That's irritating. What about the North? Let's see if we can do the Northern focuses. Otherwise, this is going to be quite a boring playthrough, isn't it? Could you imagine? Just get cucked out of everything. I know I picked the wrong freaking focus. Can I even, I can't even justify because we need world tension at 75. In the end, I may just add tension through the console and go on a rampage because I want to. Ah! Alex didn't like that. God damn it. 
That's not what I wanted. This is not how it was meant to go. Yugoslavia. Let me add him. Or should I befriend the Czechs and the Slovaks? We want to come in. The Czechs and Slovaks may have seceded from our empire, but we can still become friends. Uh, they will make a great buffer. <laughs> I mean, ally in the event of a Russian invasion. <laughs> These are just not worth getting most of the time. I mean, I could get a chief of navy for the lols. We can just sail around in our little uh, rowboat in the lake. Do we even have a lake in Austria? We must have lakes. There we go. We can sail down the river on our rowboat. Am I actually taking a trish? <laughs> off. What? <sighs> Whoa! Um, that may have been- what happened there? So, uh, they joined the European Confederation. Oh, Iran. Okay. Oof. Oof. So, the Czechs have joined us. Giggity. Oh, I just want war support, man. There's nothing that gives me war support here. Why do I have to be so passive? Let me conquer! I can't believe they're not letting me just declare war willy-nilly. It's- I guess it's my fault for taking the passive route. But there's no option to deal with Hungary at all. A white piece? What a coward. Go on, attack me. I dare you. Yeah, I don't think Germany's going to be an issue. Let's send our potatoes over to Hungary. Okay, so let's give more artillery to our divisions here. Boop. 24 combat width. Perfection. Hungary is not in a faction, but no, I can't justify because we need world tension at 75% and the game is only at 20%. And in fact, it's going down. Transylvania question. Transylvania is home to many minorities. From the Transylvanian Saxons to the Zelensky Magyars. As such, they should be free from Romania and put under our guidance. Gimme. I hate being this passive in video games. I've built up. I've fixed my nation. Now let me conquer. That's the whole point of Hoy, is it not? I don't want to get a ship design. I can't. What's the point of even getting a tank designer? Instead, I'm building infrastructure in my nation. This is building simulator. Let me dominate the Hungarians. Go on. Um... Okay. What the fuck? Huh? So the, the focus didn't even bloody work. Are you having a giraffe? And Italy's now only going after Ethiopia. Alex didn't like that. Yes. Nothing happens! <laughs> That's very frustrating. Yeah, okay. The commies are getting defeated everywhere. Except where I want to conquer the bastards. Go on, Russia. What are you doing? Looks like I'm going to uh, have Polish immigrants and uh, then declare war on Russia. Ooh. Little Austria against big boy uh, Russia. Who will win? Me. I'll let them thrust themselves onto the mountains. Kingdom of Germany invites Austria to the Berliner Pact. I wish I'd done that. I'm better off without them. I'm just going to add tension now because this is just, um, this is balked. Alex used the console. Whoops. I can only return territory. Well, that didn't. <laughs> Me. They, they can just have it back. That didn't, that didn't work. Wait for the event. What? There was an event? Oh. I'm only going to do the actual Transylvania bit. Cheater. Yep. Yep, I'm a cheater when the game doesn't work as it should. Okay, then we get the puppet. Woo! There we go. Look at my weird nation. Please. Oh my goodness me. Um, okay. I, see, you know how I don't even know how to use the console when I don't even know how to add tension. Threat 100. Right, thank you. Thank you. No, I didn't want to add 100 threat to me. <laughs> Add it to Russia. No! <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, yeah, you know when it's just balked like this? It, uh, you know, you, uh, I just want to conquer. Retake cause. I even have cause in Hungary and it wouldn't let me freaking take it unless world tension was 75%. Utter BS. Engelbert questions Hungarian sovereignty, as we should. I could have been at war, actually, if it uh, if I'd have joined the Germans, but I decided not to. Um, Italy. I didn't like that. We'll do a brief war against Hungary, because all I need is a brief one, because I'm so good at the game. Hey, Germany's just... <laughs> Germany's going on a freaking war path. Oh, Germany. Jesus. Oh. <sighs> I'm not going to call my allies in because I'm taking everything. Yes. Yes. <laughs> They're melting. 
Oh my giddy 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 goo. Wow, this is much more interesting now that I can actually conquer. Ah, you know it makes sense. Okay, so how many... They've got 150 days. They're guaranteed. It's going to take me 160. Alright. Well, what if I retook my core? I'm out of manpower. Okay, well, I'm going after Italy, though. We've got to conquer... We've got to reconquer our cores. Ottomans going after Iraq. See, it's all kicking off as soon as you add a little bit of tension. Then everyone goes crazy. Everyone loses their minds. The French have got absolutely dominated by Germany here. The Kaiser is back. Oh, here we go, baby. I will call in my allies this time. And who else can we invite? The Spanish want to join. Heck yes. Go on, son. Oh, I'm losing. Oh, I'm losing. Really? Ow. Got 20 manpower left. That can't be right. Well, I'm out of manpower. Germany took 66 states. Oh. Wow. Maybe I should have joined them. You asshole. Uh, are you... could split my army till I get a new one. What army do you think I have here? I legitimately don't know how I would do this. And why hasn't Germany joined yet? Oh my god. <laughs> Mutual destruction. So I guess Germany is... Uh, would you like to come into me? Why don't you want to come into me? What is this about, by the way? <laughs> Just some border states against Italy. Okay, I'm going to save it here. Because if Germany don't join, I can just, I can, I can just, I can just annihilate the Italians now. I'm winning this war without any manpower whatsoever. I'm so scared. Cass is king, baby. How to win a war with no manpower. Cass. Come on. Go. We have to do this quickly. I've got seven days of fuel left. This is dicey. Oh. I can't believe we did that. Oh, that's. Oh. Oh. Oh, the Ottoman Empire collapsed too. Amazing. Okay. Uh, oh, my days. Um, where's Italy? I'm going to release nation as puppet. Did I give back my core? For pity's sake. Is that the one I have? A core on? This mod is so borked. There we go. Lost the claim. That's really dumb, but I'm going to have it anyway. Uh, yeah. Engelbert is angered by German posturing. Okay, so Italy is a puppet, yes? But I'm not going to call them in. Bam. Call cool allies. Niet. Come at me, bro. Oh. What? Why would you... Why can't I ever have nice things? Look at that smug bastard. Wilhelm III, dickhead. Oh, Yugoslavia's fine. They're not calling in their allies. Germany declared war on Portugal. Are they in a faction? They're in the allies. <laughs> Oh, you idiot, Wilhelm. Look at me. I'm the conqueror now. You know what? Maybe I will call in my allies then. Yeah, the, the Czechs are a little bit screwed, but we're doing all right, I think. Do they not have an air force? What is happening to them? If I puppeted Italy instead of Anik... It wouldn't let me puppet. There wasn't an option to, to puppet it. I mean, do they have a navy now? <laughs> Whoops. I do wonder why Germany just decided to self-destruct themselves. It does feel a little idiotic. Right. So, oh, yeah, encircled and immediately dead. The Cass is just ridiculous. Is that like 1k Cass we have in this air? It, yeah, we just have a thousand Cass just, just just destroying anything as soon as the... Oh, don't mind if I do, baby. I'm still doing this with just one single 24 uh, division army. But they're just melting. <gasps> Look at me. I control Luxembourg now. I guess I'm going after France too. Jesus. They're trying to steal Berlin, but they won't get it. Look at me. I'm the Berlin now. Hold the phone here. <laughs> I oh, yes. Can we puppet them? Yeah, you can't puppet. Okay. We may have to do something about Russia. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to forget about Luxembourg. So, um, <laughs> this looks like a mess. Let's just see what happens against Russia. I don't think Russia is that strong. Oh, I'm still at war with the Dutch East Indies. Are you having a giraffe, mate? Maybe East Austria are strong. Uh, Russia is strong. But this just looks like a... Oh. I have 24 divisions, so I, I don't really think that that's going to really go very well for me. Oh! I think this is a bit of a mess of a mod. <laughs> I don't really know what to do from here, and I don't really have time to do much else, because I have an appointment soon. Would I return to this mod? Absolutely, I would. I think I would have to pick a more, more, uh, developed tree. 
odd that I've got Poland or war, but we look, we kind of formed, the, we kind of formed the EU, right? Sort of. Bit of a weird one, because even with all of my, oh geez, yeah, I can't be asked. Yeah, most of my, most of my puppets don't have any divisions whatsoever. This is just a messed up playthrough of a mod which I had very fond memories of, but I don't really know what's going on with this anymore. But yeah, I think it's best if I call it a day for this one. But if there's a nation on the mod that you think I should play in the future, of course, <laughs> comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more very soon. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Turquoise Zong, Ian Clark, Kim Eric, Richard Cruz, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Daniel Orr, Maximilian Foreman, Wire Green, Onion Duck, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, and Bash for being champions of the Rambler cult here on YouTube. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!